grammar challenge. Let's do some exercises. If you didn't get them 100% correctly, keep watching this video. I will show you the same exercises at the end of this video, and I guarantee you will understand everything by then. Hello everyone, I'm Shuo. Welcome back to Shuo Shuo Chinese, Shuo Shuo Zhongwen. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between 经历, 经验, and 体验. If you are an intermediate level learner or above, the best way to understand the difference or the nuance between Chinese words is to look into the literal meaning of each character. Let's take these three words as an example. 经历, 经验, 体验. First of all, let's see 经历. Okay, three seconds. I want you to give me one word that has 经 and another word that has 历. I'm thinking 经过, to pass, and 历史, history. So, 经历 means your history, the story that has passed in your life. Anything, literally anything, that you have done has become your history and also your 经历. In other words, once you've done something, you immediately get the 经历 by default. 你有过非常尴尬的经历吗? 你有过非常尴尬的经历吗? 那是我最糟糕的一次约会经历. 那是我最糟糕的一次约会经历. 经历 is also a verb. For example, 没想到我二十五岁就经历了一次中年危机。没想到我二十五岁就经历了一次中年危机。Then let's see 经验. Again, three seconds. Give me one word that has 经 and another word that has 验. 经。also, 经过, to pass. And for 验, I'm thinking 实验, experiment. When you do an experiment, of course, you don't want to just go through the process. You also want a result. You want to discover something new and gain some knowledge and experience from the experiment. So, 经验 talks about the tricks and tips, the knowledge you gain from something you've done. 比如说,我有去中国的经历 simply means you've been to China before. But if you say, 我有去中国的经验 what you want to convey is you probably have some tips about how to apply for a Chinese visa or China visa, Chinese visa, <laughs> visa for China, or you know how to survive in China, you know how to buy a train ticket, and so on. Another example is 我没有当妈妈的经历。但是我有一些当妈妈的经验。因为是我把我的侄女带大的。我没有当妈妈的经历。I've never been a mother before. 但是我有一些当妈妈的经验。I have some tips about how to raise a child. 因为是我把我的侄女带大的。not the real story. <laughs> and also, 经验 can only be used as a noun. It's not a verb. Let's see the last word. 体验 What's special about this word? That's right. We have 体 as in 你的身体. So, 
体验 means that you need to put your body yourself in a certain environment, and you feel something there physically and emotionally. So, for example, 在我们的客栈，你会得到五星级酒店的体验。在我们的客栈，你会得到五星级酒店的体验。他的意思是，虽然我们是一个很便宜的小客栈，但是你住在这里，就像和在五星级酒店一样舒服、放松。再比如说，比起花钱买东西，我更愿意花钱买体验，潜水。滑雪，还有去外国学习语言，这些都是把你的身体放在那里，然后你去感觉、去发现、去体验。体验 is also a verb。我想体验不同的人生生活。Okay, I still want to use this、um, 当妈妈的经历 as an example, the experience to be a mother. I will show you three sentences. The first one, 我没有当妈妈的经历 I've never given birth to a baby. 但是我有当妈妈的经验 I have some knowledge about how to take care of a baby. 因为我体验过一个一周妈妈的活动。I've joined an activity called 一周妈妈 ，One Week Mother. So I kind of get the feeling of how it was like to be a mom. So to conclude, 经历 only talks about your story, your history, while your takeaways or your feelings is not the emphasis. 经。Yen <laughs> talks about your、uh, the tricks and tips, your knowledge that you gained from something you have done. While Ti Yen means that you have to put yourself there in that environment, and it emphasizes your emotional and physical feelings during the experience. All right, now I will show you the exercises you have done at the beginning of this video. I bet they make more sense now. So this is all the content of today's video. I hope you like it. I'm Shuo from Shuo Shuo Chinese. I will see you in my next video. 再见。